Do you want to learn how to put custom photos in your rooms using Rec Room Studio? Today, I'm going to show you how to do it. You can do this with any image, whether it has transparency or not. And I'm going to show you how to do both. But first, we have to take a picture. So the first thing you're going to want to do uh, once you've got your image is open up your version of Rec Room Studio. Once you've got your version of Rec Room Studio open, you just need to go to where you have your files and get the image that you want to bring into Rec Room. So we will take our JPEG file, drag it down here. And then once we've got our JPEG file in our assets, we can then right click, go to create material. You can rename this material to anything you like. For now, I'm going to go name it selfie. And then in the material settings in your inspector, you're going to want to take your image, drag it over to where it says base map into that little square. You'll see that the image we've taken has completely been surrounded on the sphere. Go over here, drop the smoothness down. This will make it less shiny and it will make the color pop a bit more. The smoothness will kind of dole out the color a bit. Once we've got our material, you will want to go up to this plus sign in the top left of your screen in the hierarchy. Drop it down, click on 3D object, click on plane, and this will be what we put our image onto so that we can see it in Rec Room. From here, you'll want to add a empty, where it says create empty in the drop down in the hierarchy. We'll rename this to image, drag your plane onto the image. We'll make it a child, essentially meaning all of the components that we're going to add will be going onto the parent and not the plane itself. From here, click on your plane, click and drag your material onto the plane itself, You'll notice it's a bit warped and looks a bit funny. Unless you want it to stay this way, you want to go up to your transform controls up here. Make sure that you're still selecting your plane and scale down till it looks about right. From here, one of the things you're gonna notice is that the image is only visible from one side. If I go underneath, you'll see it kind of disappears. To fix this, you'll want to click on your material in the inspector tab, there is a drop down under surface options that says render face. It is set to default on front. You can drop down and click both. And now the picture will project on both sides of the plane. Now to make this picture editable with the maker pen, you'll want to go up into your hierarchy, click on your empty parent or image or whatever you've named it to click and drag it down into your assets. Once you have it in your assets, you'll want to add component, physics, box collider. And then you'll want to add another component, rec room studio, and rec room object. Rec room object will allow it to be interacted with with the maker pen, and the box collider will allow it to be selected with the maker pen. Both of them are required if you want to select, rotate, and scale, move your object once you get into Rec Room so you don't have to touch it in Studio anymore. With your Box Collider, make sure you click this Edit Collider button so you can see where the collision is. And as you can see, that's our collision. It is not over our image, so if we tried to select this in Rec Room with our Maker Pen, it would go right through. It would not detect anything. So we need to move our Box Collider to cover our picture. And to do that, you'll need to go and open up your prefab. So select the image that you drag down from your hierarchy. At the top right, there is an open button. Once you've clicked this, you can click on your image in the hierarchy and set its position to zero, zero, and zero. Do the same thing for your plane, zero, zero, and zero click on your parent or your image or whatever you've named it click on your edit collider button and you'll see that it is in the center of our image from here when we're editing our collider you can quite literally drag the collider to fill in all of the space we need doesn't need to be perfect and then i'm going to come up here and drag my size on the y down a bit so it seems a bit flatter now that we have our collision done and it has been tagged as a Rec Room object, this image is ready to be put into Rec Room. So from here, you can go to Rec Room Studio, which you can find by going to Rec Room Studio, Rec Room Studio, and it will be this menu. Click Upload to RecNet. 
It'll say, are you sure? Currently in this room, in rec room, click continue. After about a minute, this menu will pop up here. You'll want to check off start build and then click upload. After a couple minutes, we have gotten this pop-up that says build succeed. The new build is now available to play in rec room, meaning now we can leave studio and open up rec room. Now in rec room, in the room that I had ported this into, I can go to this room, go into the backup saves, and at the top you'll see Rec Room Studio. Click that, click load selected save, and the image is now in Rec Room. And it is selectable, we can scale it, we can rotate it, and it's visible on both sides. So let's say your image had a transparent background, like this one here. It was set up the exact same way as I showed you how to set this one up. There's only a few settings you have to change though if you want it to have transparency on it. The first thing you'll have to do is go down to your texture layer or your image or whatever you've imported. Go up to this checkbox that says alpha is transparency. Make sure that that is checked on. Click apply and you'll notice that down here the texture has become transparent but it has not become transparent here. Next you need to go to the material. Go up to surface type under surface options, change it from opaque to transparent, and now your image has a transparent background. I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more like this, and I can't wait to see your studio creations.